Learn how IBM Rational Management Teams use the Executive Dashboard to guide their business decisions for software delivery. On the opening page of the Executive Dashboard, we can navigate between different types of reports, apply filters, and get a visual status of each release through the bubble chart. In the chart, notice that the status of one of the legacy products, RRR 8.2, is red. The problem is with its overall health. Let's drill down to find out more. The overall health is an aggregation of four health metrics, business health, development health, development quality, and perceived quality. From here, we can open a trend report for the perceived quality metric. Perceived quality reflects the reported quality of a release. Trends show that the cost of supporting this legacy product has increased steadily over the past year. It correlates with similar increase in the number of customer reported problems and critical situations. The cost of supporting this product has increased due to underlying customer issues that persist despite continuous skill and resource investments. Many of the requirement and quality issues are reported by customers who are active in the Jazz.net community. Likewise, development teams and managers respond to questions and stay aware of the community's needs. In this community discussion, initial customer reaction to RRR 8.2 was positive but the quality of early code available in beta builds has been disappointing. The discussion is flooded with complaints and questions. Customers cannot get the new features to work. When they do work, they cause collateral problems and degrade overall performance. In addition to community feedback, comments that the program managers post in the dashboard provide some insight on how development shortcomings might be affecting quality. At this point, these findings should be discussed with both development and product management teams. There is another source of concern on the main dashboard. By configuring the dashboard's filters, we can focus on the RSW 3.0 workbench and its related products. The status of the workbench is yellow, and one of its product status is red. The on-time delivery risk for RRR 8.2 is red, and its development schedule variance is 16 weeks. Since the workbench ships three weeks after RRR 8.2's scheduled EGA date, this variance could delay the shipment of the workbench. The RRR 8.2 release needs corrective action to ensure that the workbench ships on time. Drilling down on RSW Workbench's Improve Health Report shows that RRR 8.2 is the only release in the workbench with poor health. The rest of the releases in the workbench are in good health. To determine what's wrong, the development manager for RRR 8.2 reviews the work items in Rational Team Concert and notices that a high percentage of the defects are filed against an import feature that was added in a prior release. Since very few changes have been made to that code, we decide that many of the defects in the latest version of RRR were opened against code that was implemented in a previous release. It appears that many of the changes were added to iteration backlogs without proper planning and implemented without test cases. In the dashboard, we can seek guidance from IBM practices to find ways to address particular situations. Reviewing the practice for the Development Quality Scorecard helps us determine a course of action for correction. In this case, the test management practice states that all development work items should have associated test cases to not only contain technical debt, but also foster stable builds and overall quality. The recommended measure is test coverage, which helps teams ensure that all code is tested and works as designed when integrated. At this point, we can see that the executive dashboard does not have a metric to indicate how much development output is being tested. We can request that an additional measure be included in the executive dashboard to reflect the test coverage of products and solutions. The measure can be computed from information 
that is available directly from both Rational Quality Manager and Rational Team Consort. At the next operational review, we see that a test coverage metric has been added as a new development health metric. After a few months of overseeing the test management practices, the development health for RSW 3.0 Workbench and all its releases are now green and operating as expected. The RSW 3.0 Workbench is back on track and expected to ship on schedule. When data from multiple sources is consolidated and reported consistently across projects, and metrics are supported by best practice guidance, we achieve smarter software delivery through the Rational Executive Dashboard.